music connects us. Let us bring the melodies from your heart. The hymns of your soul. And the lyrics of your life closer to people. Creating unforgettable fan experiences. Connect with us and start your musical journey now. KDR Music House, where music finds its home. Craving for Salute's delicious food? We got you with our new combo meal. Now in a better packaging, bigger serving, and no price increase, Salute is absolutely affordable. Enjoy our five-star quality cuisine in a budget price for only 249 pesos. Not just four, but with eight combo meal variations to choose from. For more details and orders, please contact 0976-054-2567. Don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts. Instagram at salute.manila. Facebook at Salute Manila Centris. Gmail at salute.restaurant.cafe at gmail.com. Maghahanap Dito ng the best Chicken ba ang hanap mo? Dito na tayo best Wala kang makikita Kasing sarap ang lasa Kaya let's go get ready na Baka maiwan ka Tara na, tara na Hagutin ang pamilya Sasarap, baka malimutan The 
some chickens at the best house of chicken. Patatagpuan ang multi-awarded beach resort na ito sa Bataan. This place is not only known because of the important historical events, but also because of its natural wonders, such as majestic mountains and stunning beaches. This is a perfect getaway because it's just a few hours away from many busy cities such as Manila and Angeles City. So we have been to the reception and now I'm so excited. But first, let us check out the luxurious hotel rooms. Come on! What a luxury accommodation! First class talaga ang dating ng hotel. Everything is provided for everyone's comfort and pleasure. Pagdating naman sa food, you can experience the best cuisines here at Morong. Most of the packages are with meals. Enjoy the delicious delicacies at the buffet, including soups, a selection of meats, vegetables, desserts, and beverages. The best features of Morong Star Beach Resort are scuba diving and snorkeling, where you explore the beautiful underwater world. Before we dive underwater and appreciate a diversity of beautiful fish, corals, and many more marine creatures, maga undergo muna tayo sa basic training for safety. Ito ang pool na 16 feet deep, where we learn and become familiar with diving. If you want adrenaline pumping rides, try Banana Boat, which can go very fast. This is not for the faint of hearts. Kapag tumakbo na ang speedboat ng mabinis, for sure sigawan dahil sa sobrang fun at excitement. Isa rin sa highlights ng resort ay ang island hopping. We get to experience seeing islands with white sands by riding on a short boat trip and enjoy scenic views. Enjoy the number one beach resort in Bataan for a day tour of as low as 500 pesos. For the weekend's rate, you can avail of 2,750 pesos per head. And for the weekday's rate, you can avail of 2,500 pesos per head. Morong Star is dubbed as the sunniest place in Bataan, and its shining beauty radiates even at night. The wooden tree house and the event area, especially when decorated, showcase their splendor in the serenity of the evening. After a hectic day, it's time to relax. Let us indulge in this moment with the beautiful serenity of the beach. And of course, the sunset here at Morong Star Beach Resort.
Dear Dr. Clark,
Dear Dr. Clark, Not all meetings end up in a relationship. But often, when you see someone special, you kind of feel that something may develop. There is a strong force that makes you feel drawn to that person. One look and you just simply feel she's the one. Ito po yung ilan sa mga artwork namin. Ayan, yung kay Louie Tams po. Gentle sila lang ba yung tawag namin? Let's move on po. Aim Cortez or Lenny. Pero ito, different time naman po. Medyo uh, sunset na yung isa. Then yung isa, medyo tanga. Pahapon na. Yes, ko. Oh, kaya medyo magkaiba yung, yung time niya. Excuse me lang po. Uh, meron lang pong kakausapin. Just enjoy the painting. Thank you. How do you like the painting? Sorry? Yung painting, nagustuhan mo ba? Titig na titig ka kasi. Ah, uh, yes. Art lover ka ba? Are you a collector? I am an architect. Just admiring this piece, pero hindi naman ako nagko-collect. I'm Angeline. Ako nga pala yung curator dito sa gallery. I'm sorry, I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. I think I saw you earlier nung paakit ako. I did the presentation sa client sa penthouse. Kay Mr. Castro? Yeah, kay Mr. Castro. Do you know him by any chance? Well, siya lang naman yung may-ari ng building, so I should know him. <laughs> oh, what? stupid question. Hindi naman. Saan si Mall naman? Binibira mo na ako niya. No. Just telling you what I'm thinking. Alright. So, what do you think about this piece? May bala ka bang bilhin yung painting? Pwede. Um, pag binili ko ba ito, mas matagal na kita makakausap. Ha? Huh? Um, said, pag binili ko ba ito, are you open to have a date with me? <laughs> Mr. Kevin, parang masyado mabilis yung galawan. I always go for what I want. Well, take it easy, Mr. Kevin. Kasi ang sabi nga nila, ang karaniwang nagmamadali, madalas nadadapa. I hope na huwag mangyari sa atin yun, but... Seriously... Could I take you for a date? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Sige. Maybe is good in yes. Pwede mo na ba i-research sa akin itong painting na to? This is not an exchange for the date. But thank you and congratulations para sa bagong painting, Mr. Kevin. Jean? Excuse me. Jean, pakiasis na lang si Mr. Kevin kasi nabili na niya yung artwork. Right? Okay. Thank you, Ms. Anjali. I'll see you again. Thank you, Mr. Kev. Si Jean ang bahala sa inyo.
Dr. Clark, that meeting with Angeli led to many more encounters, and eventually we became a couple. She was simply adorable, someone for keeps. After a few months of being together, I was sure that she was the one destined to be with me, the one with whom I would spend my whole life with. Anjali, do you remember the painting that I bought the first time that we saw each other? Yung the tides? Uh, right, yung yah. I put that up for this place, uh, gallery on it. Huh? Bakit? Are you selling it? Find it. I just want to share that to the public. Uh -huh. So, saan tayo pupunta, Mr. Kevin? I just made a reservation for dinner. Diyan lang sa may overlooking. Wow! That's a romantic place. Alam mo, sabi nila masarap daw dun. And I think we're here. Okay. So, let's go. Let's go. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh. Ang ganda dito. Oh, you... Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Mm, sweet one, Noah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. How do you like it? Get that? Um, I know that we haven't been together that long. Pero gaano man katagal ako eksing pagsasama natin, alam ko nararamdaman ko that you're the one. Mahal kita. Mahal na mahal. What has gotten to you, Kevin? Anjali, um, may I ask you? Alam mo, Kevin, kinakabahan ako. An ano ba yun? Sigurado ka ba dito? I've never been so sure in my life than I am now. Angelique, will you marry me?
Yes. <laughs> of course, I'll marry you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too.
Dr. Clark, everything happened so fast. Can it be considered a whirlwind romance? I think that was fate. I saw in her a woman whose heart is pure and true. Look at you, Angeli. Ang ganda-ganda mo! What's wrong? Ha? Huh? Tingnan mo to. Ikakasal ka pero parang walang kasaya-saya yung itsura mo. Friend, hindi ka pa masayang ikakasal ka? Of course, I'm happy. I'm getting married. Is there anything bothering you? Nagbabago ba yung isip mo kay Kevin? Friend, sigurado ko na mahal ko si Kevin. And I want to be with him for the rest of my life. Pero kasi pakiramdam ko parang, parang hindi tama eh. What do you mean? Nagkadalawang isip ako. Huh? You're having cold feet? Hindi ko alam. Parang mali eh. Friend, look. Lahat ng guests natin, nandito na. Hmm? Si Kevin, he's right there waiting. Pag umurong ka, mapapahiya si Kevin. Yung buong pamilya niya nasa labas na. Oo, oh, alam ko yun. Alam ko yun. Pero parang may mali talaga eh. Parang mali. You love Kevin, di ba? Mahal mo siya. Oh, naman. Mahal na mahal ko si Kevin. Then that's all that matters. Let's go. Your husband is waiting for you. Tara. Yeah. 
Prepare na ako ng coffee. Oh, thank you, Han. Han, saan ka nga pala today? Uh, <clears throat> punta ako dun sa new project kay Mr. Castro. Remember him? Ah, uh, yung building owner ng gallery. Yeah. Di ba nabanggit ko na sa'yo na na-award na sa akin yung project? Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Yung building sa San Miguel, Del Monte, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, that's a big one. I'm happy for you. Thank you. So, how much nga pala yan? Bale, nag-groundbreaking na kami and start na ng construction. Honor, you sick? Ah, uh, hindi yan. Hindi yan. Um, nabigla lang siguro yun siya. Ko medyo kumalam nung isik mo lang. Should we go for a checkup, sa doctor? Ano hon? Um, uh, I'll be fine. Okay lang. Sure. Yeah. Hon, are you okay? Hmm. Pangalawa nyan, and it's early morning. Hon, medyo okay lang ako. Medyo nahilo lang si Bruno. Hot, nahilo ka? Hmm. Okay lang ka. Wait, hindi ko muna umupo. Ah. <laughs> um. <sighs> Teka. Mm. Mm. Are you pregnant? Hmm? Is it? Mm. Hindi, hindi ko alam. Baka? Do you mean I'll be a daddy now? Han, hindi pa confirm. Kaya huwag ka muna umasa, ha? I know, basta, I'm so excited. Should we see an OB guy ni now? Han, masyado pang maaga. Siguro, magpapahinga muna ako ngayong araw. Okay. Hmm. But, anything that you want for later? Any food that you want to eat? Sabihin mo. Han, just go home early. Of course, you need to take care of the baby. Okay na ako dun. Okay, I'll take a half day leave. Makawi ako na maaga. Pero, I need to go now, okay? Okay, Han, go. Okay. What's the... Yes, Han. I want you to take good care of yourself and the baby. I love you. I love you, Han. I love you, Han. I love you, Han. I love you, Han. Okay. You're crying. I love you. I love you. All of my life it seemed that something had been missing. I didn't know what to do. Days would pass me by. Each 
reach as lonely as the other until I met you. You opened the door and let the sun shine in. My life will never be the same again. Dr. Clark, the news of her pregnancy excites me no end. I am going to be a father soon. While it is daunting, the feeling is indescribable. So, this is how it feels to have one of your own. Flesh of my flesh and blood of my blood. I am really happy to be having my own offspring. Mahansya nga pala, nagpa-appointment na ako sa OB Gynae for your checkup. I realized wala ka pang prenatal. Juan, okay naman ako eh. The baby is fine. I mean, it's better na magpa-checkup. No harm to do prenatal check para malaman rin natin yung lagay ni baby. Right? Han, 
Promise, okay ako. Tsaka wala naman ako nararamdamang iba eh. Sige na, hon. Please, okay? Kilala ko naman yung OB. She's gonna take care of all of you. Han. Hmm. Sige na, huwag na. Promise, okay lang kami. Hindi, may appointment na tayo. So please, huwag ka na tumanggihin. You know, this is the best thing to do, right? Diba? Sige na. Sige na, palata ako. Okay. Sige. Oh, Kevin! Hi! Ah, uh, hello po, Doktora. Good morning. Good morning po, Doktora. Actually, right? Opo. Ako, lagi kang kinikwento ni Kevin. Bakit ngayon ka lang nagpa-check up? Ah, uh, okay naman po ako, Doktora. Well, alam mo, kahit wala kang nararamdaman, kapag buntis, on your first trimester, dapat nagpapa-check up ka na. Kunin muna natin yung blood pressure mo, no? para ma-check natin kung okay ang BP mo. Nurse Malu, paki-BP naman si Angeli. Hi, kunin ko lang mo yung nang BP mo, ha? Dito mo kayo, eh. Okay. 110 over 70 po, Doktora. Okay, 110 over 70, Angeli. Well, that's good, no? Ilang buwan na ba yan? Uh, Doc, honeymoon baby po yan, so we think... Okay. Four months na yan? Hmm. Well, uh, mag-ultrasound tayo, Angela, no? That should give us a better idea, okay? Nurse Malu, paki-assist lang si Angela. Mag-ultrasound muna tayo dun, tara. Salamat po. Kevin, Anjali, the baby's fine. Heartbeat is normal. Kailangan ko lang magdagdag ng uh, vitamins para sa'yo. So, Anjali, kailangan inumin mo to, ha? Thank Lord, the baby is fine. Salamat po, Doc. Okay, Anjali. Ito yung result at ito yung prescription para sa vitamins mo. You need to come back, okay? I'll see you after a month para ma-monitor natin yung progress mo. Salamat po ulit, Doc. Take care, Anjali, ha? Yung mga vitamins mo, kailangan mong inumin, okay? See you, Doc. Salamat okay. po. Sige, sige lang pa. Uh, doc, salamat po ulit. Uh, balik na lang kami sa check-up, okay? Kevin. Six months nang pregnant ang wife mo. you
Dr. Clark, I was shocked by Doc's revelation. How could it be? She's already in her sixth month, and we've only been together for four months. All the excitement about the baby suddenly turned into worries and feelings of betrayal. Am I really the father of her baby? This feels terrible, but I could not confront Angeli about it. I opted for the cold treatment. Han, can we talk? About what? <sighs> May nagawa ba akong mali? Why? Did you do anything? Kasi, since nung nagpa-check up tayo, parang, parang binabaliwala mo ako eh. You don't even sleep sa room natin. Bakit? Nothing, I just don't feel like it. Kevin, nung isang araw ang sweet-sweet mo, tapos ngayon parang hindi ako nag i sa'yo. Alam mo na, magpagod lang ako for the last two weeks. I just wanna be alone. No, Kevin. Ini-ignore mo ko. Na hindi mo kakinakamusta si Baby eh. Baby is just fine, sabi ng doktor, doon. Ganon. Baby is fine, Kevin. Binabaliwala mo kami. Kevin, your baby needs care. Anjali. Hindi ako ng ama ng baby mo.
hasta ng puso ko Dr. Clark, I was at that time torn and confused. I did not want to think bad of Anjali. I love her, but I could not even fathom what she has done. My heart told me to stay with her, but logic dictated that I should leave. I was not sure how I feel, but there is lots of pain inside me that I could not bear. Nevertheless, I stayed with her until the baby was born.
turned away from Angeli and the baby the same moment she gave birth. My heart was pounding hard as I walked away. At the time, I wasn't sure if I were doing the right thing. I moved away and had no plans of going back to Angeli. 
but wished them both a good life. After nine years, I was able to recover and allowed myself to fall in love. What happened to you? We don't know when to finish now. Sort of a boogie, sir. Yeah, I know. Can you go? One more round? I mean, okay now. I still need to go to work. I see you cool down on the dial. Georgia, thank you. Thank you, son. For being there for me. You're not just going to need me. But naging sentimental ka bigla. Ah, wala lang. I just realized that you've been so good to me. Swept ako sa. Hindi ko alam bat ganon ka today. Alam mo naman na mahal kita, de ba? Isang ay sumapi ng kapas na amit sa. I didn't know na kaya ko pang bumalik ulit. And you made me fall in love with you. But ganito yung topic natin after jogging. Apakaromantik, ha? Gusto ko lang malaman mo, I'm grateful for your love. Mali mo, boss, makalawa. Mawala ako. At least, nasabi ko man lang sa'yo, di ba? I know, Kevin. Pero huwag na huwag na huwag na huwag mong sasabihin na mawawala ka. Of course, I don't wanna lose you. Never. I lost the love once. And I'm not losing you no matter what, okay? Thank you, Kevin. So, ano, tara na? May pasok pa tayo. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Malilate na naman tayo. Yeah.
Dr. Clark, the heartache with Angeli now completely healed. Georgia helped me move on. She knew nothing about Angeli, nor the fact that I was married. People say Angeli grieved over my departure, but she was able to take care of the baby. The baby grew up well, and from what I heard, is as pretty as the mother. Mommy? Mm -hmm. What is the perfect square? What? Was a perfect square. Perfect square? Assignment nyo ba yan, anak? Hindi po, Mami. Nagbabasa lang po ako ng algebra book. <laughs> Bakit algebra? Alam ko na po kasi yung mga colors and shapes na tinuturo po sa amin ni teacher sa school. Nabobored na po ako doon. Paano mo natutunan yan, ha? Aha! Mami, algebra is simple. Calculation lang po yan of probabilities. Saan mo natutunan yan, ha? I'm sure hindi yan tinuturo sa grade school. Nagbabasa po ako, Mami. Alam ba yan ng ibang classmate mo? Hindi ko po alam, Mami, eh. Ay, sus naman. Ang anak ko naman, no? Manang-mana sa daddy niya. Manang-mana sa daddy? Eh, nasaan na po si daddy ngayon? Uh, ha? Si Daddy po. Siya po yung Daddy ko po, di ba? Ah... Uh, oo. Siya yung Daddy mo. Eh, nasa na po siya ngayon? Eh, bakit hanggang ngayon po hindi ko pa din po siya nakikita? Halika nga dito. Jess, di ba sinabi ko na sa'yo na huwag ka na magtatanong ng ganyan? Mahal niya ba tayo? Mahal niya ba ako? Oo naman. Ano ba naman tanong yan? Mahal ka ng daddy mo. Eh bakit kahit minsan man lang, hindi niya ako puntahan, kausapin, or kaya ihag man lang? Jess, what did I tell you about daddy? Na... He went abroad to work for me. Pero namimiss ko po kasi siya eh. Someday, Jess. Magkikita din kayo. Someday. Alam niyo po ba, Mami, tuwing pumupunta po ako sa school, lagi ko pong dinadala yung picture niya para po may patunay ako sa mga kaibigan ko na may daddy po ako. Ay, naku, ikaw talaga. Sige na, kumain na tayo. Tarang. Pwede ka po ba mag-promise, Mami? Ano yun? Pwede po ba sa next birthday ko, pauwiin niyo po si Daddy? Uh, <laughs> sige. Promise. Kumain ka na. Sige po. Mami! Di ba po sa Sunday, pupunta po tayo ng province? Mm -mm. Di ba? First time mo yun na malayo yung trip? Opo. Excited na po ako, Mami. Ako din. Kaya sige na, kumain ka na. Sige, sige na, kumain ka na.
mag-isa Di kailangan ng iba Hello guys! Gusto ko lang magpakilala. Ako po si Rodessa or si Kisame. And gusto ko lang din mag-thank you so wish and sa KDR Music House for inviting me. And <laughs> love you. Thank you for inviting me and sana mag-enjoy pa kayo. And you can stream my songs online. Search lang RHODSSA. Magandang gabi, Araneta. Hingi kami ng tulong sa inyo. Can you turn on your lights? Let's make this memorable. Pakibukas ang ilaw po. Mariano. Salamat po! Where 
are here! Wow! <laughs> Mami, ang ganda! Happy ka? Opo! Oh, anong gusto mo wala nyo dyan po? Doon? O, sige, wala na dyan! Yan, gusto mo? Opo. Sige, sige. Go, go, go! Apo na lang, apo na lang. Go na! Ang galing mo naman! Pikit sa tayo. O, ano nga next? Blue! Blue. Okay, blue. Ha, ha? Yo. Okay, next game, next game. Thank you, Kuya. Thank you, Pa. Go! Ako naman, ako naman. Ako naman. Thank you, Pa. Kunyo natin, Bryce. Um... Ito pa yung tiket. Oh, mabili ka na. Ah, ito po. Thank you! Thank you, Mami! Thank you po! Happy ka? Opo! O, ano pa? Anong gusto mo? Nagugutom ka ba? Opo! O, anong gusto mo? Meron dong hot dog, waffle, meron popcorn, tsaka cotton candy. Ah, yung waffle po. Waffle? Opo. Okay, thank you po. Kuya, isang waffle nga yung bagong guto, ha? Sige po. Hi, you're cute. Um, sino kasama mo? Are you lost? Kasama ko po si Mami. Ikaw po ba ang daddy ko? Aha. Wala pa akong anak eh. Baka nagkakamali ka lang. What's your name? Ako po si Jazz. Ikaw po ito, di ba? Kamukha ko nga. Saan mo na kuya ang picture niya? Picture po ito ng daddy ko. Lagi ko po itong dinadala kasi lagi ko po siyang hinahanap. Jess? Jess? Anong name ng mami mo? Anjali po. Jess! Teka nga dito. Kala ko nawala ka na. Dito ka lang pala. Mami, look si da... Jess, pinakaba mo ko ha. Don't do that again, okay? Anjali. But... Jess. Uh, Kevin, ano ang ginagawa mo dito? Um, by the way, si Georgia. Hi, I'm Kevin's girlfriend. Hi. Mommy, look all si Daddy. <laughs> Jazz, let's go na, huh? But Dad is here. Uh, Kevin, I'm confused. Sino sila? Uh, we're nobody. Kevin, muna na kami. Jazz, tara na. Um, wait. How are you? Siya na ba yung baby mo? Yes. She's my daughter. Uh, Kevin, how are you connected to them? I'll explain later. Jazz, let's go. Muna na kami. Hindi pa natin kasama si Daddy? Chaz, he's not your Daddy. Pero, Mami, siya po yun. Siya po yung Daddy ko. Uwi na tayo, ha? Tara na. You have a lot of explaining to do, Kevin. Sino ba sila? Georgia, I used to be married sa kanya. Ano? Asawa mo siya? Ba't wala ka malang sasabi tungkol sa kanya? Para to siya ng buhay ko nang matagal ko nang binawal sa limot. Pero bakit tinago mo pa rin sa akin yung tungkol dyan? Yung bata, anak mo ba? I'm not sure. But she was the reason why I left Angeli nine years ago. This is not good, Kevin. 
Ayusin mo yan. I need to go. Georgia, let me explain. incident was totally unexpected. Jess was adorable to say the least. I felt an immediate affection for the girl. Am I the father? Now I am even more confused. I need to put closure. Some questions beg an answer. Hey, babe. How was your day? Need some more, Darla? Um, okay lang. Kahit ano. Okay. <laughs> Kevin? Hmm? Can you please explain kung ano nangyari dun sa carnival? I already told you that yung asawa si Angeli. Yun know, nga yung hindi ko maintindihan eh. Kasal ka na pala. All along kasi akala ko binata ka. We were even talking about getting married. So ano yun? Seryosa naman ako sa'yo. I love you and I wanna marry you. At paano nga mangyayari yun? Eh kasal ka nga sa Angeli na yun. Kahit ilang beses mo siyang ibaon sa limot. Kasal pa rin kayong dalawa? 
She's a tragic bastard, Georgia. You help me get over her, diba? But you didn't even say to me. Because if I know, Kevin, if I know, I wouldn't have fallen for you. Bye. Georgia, I truly love you, okay? Angeli, she's just a thing in the past. Hindi ko naman expect na makikita ko nga sila ulit, eh. Eh, ngayon na nakita kayo. Anong mangyayari sa atin? Walang klaseng tanong yan. Siyempre, tayo pa rin. Wala naman akong plano makapagbalikan kay Angeli, eh. Eh, yung bata. Are you the father? Bakit mo sinasabi na siya yun dahilan bakit mo iniwan si Angeli noon? Hindi ako sure kung akong ama ni Jazz dahil muli ko na siya nakita nung pinanganap na siya. What? Iniwan mo sila nung kakapanganak pa lang nung bata? Actually, yes. Dahil hindi ko naman alam na kung ako ba talaga yung ama ni Jazz. She might actually be pregnant nung kinasal kami at hindi ako nakabundi sa kanya, okay? So, sino yung ama ni Jazz? Wala siyang sinabi sa akin. She never mentioned about the other guy. So I thought, she's being unfaithful bago pa kami kasal. Kaya nung nagkakilala tayo, I thought I could not fall in love again. Hindi mo man lang siya tinanong? And how sure are you na hindi ko yung nakabuntis sa kanya? Nanganak siya full term when we've been married for seven months pa lang. I was hurt so much. I didn't want to confront her. That's why I decided to leave them. Now you see them again. How do you feel about her? About the baby? How do you expect me to feel? I already buried her deep in the past, Georgia. For me, for me, she does not exist anymore, okay? For Pete's sake, Kevin. Kilala kita eh. Iba yung tingin mo sa kanya nung araw na yun. At nung dinawag kang daddy nung jazz, halatang apektado ka. Now, please, can you please tell me I'm wrong? Na mali yung sinasabi ko? Na hindi totoo yung sinasabi ko? Georgia, bata yun. Pininiwala lang siya ni Angelina kung yung amo niya, but the truth is, I'm not. Okay? Isarado niya na nang tuluyan niya ang issue niyo ni Angeli. I cannot be with you until may closure kayo ni Angeli at saka ni Jazz. Oh, come on, Georgia. What's the meaning of this? Seryoso ako, Kevin. Tapusin niyo yung issue niyo ni Angeli or we're done. Pinaniwala mo ako na ako lang yung babae sa buhay mo. Minahal kita dahil akala ko ako lang. I deserve a clean and honest relationship, Kevin. Hindi ka tulad ng ganito. Padama 
lahat, nais nating lahat pasalamatan ang KDR Music House! Tignan niyo yan, oh! On behalf of KDR Music House, labis kami nagpapasalamat sa inyong pag-celebrate ng wish date kasama namin sa gabing ito. Maraming salamat! Isn't it so amazing how the changing tides of life surprise us? Minsan, I remember the boy. Minsan, I don't remember the feeling anymore. Diba? Katulad ng love story ni Kevin at Angel! Gusto ba niyo malaman ang mangyayari? Next year na daw po. Magandang gabi. Bye-bye. <laughs> Joke lang. Well, everybody, sit back and enjoy the next few moments para malaman natin ang mangyayari sa love story ni Kevin and Angeli. Dr. Clark, I walked away from Angeli and Jazz so I could have peace of mind. Our meeting again has put chaos in my life once more. I need to put an end to this. Jazz, pakitingnan nga ako sino yung nag-doorbell. Wait lang, ha? Jazz, sino yung nag-doorbell? Mami, oh, si Daddy. Tinalaw po ako. Ah... Uh, Kevin, bumisita ka. Halika, pumasok ka. Ah, uh, sorry. Bad timing ba? Daddy! Thank you po, ah. Dahil dinalaw niyo na po ako dito sa bahay. Alam niyo po bang matagal ko na pong nire-request kay mami na dalawin niyo po ako dito? Kaya lang po lagi niya pong sinasabi na nasa abroad kayo at nasa province lang po pala kayo. Bakit din niyo po ako dinadalaw dito, daddy? Sorry, busy kasi ako. Ang tagal niyo po akong hindi dinalaw, daddy. Ah, uh, Kevin, na po ka muna. Sige. Kape, gusto mo kape? Sige, coffee. Thank you. Daddy, ang saya ko po ngayon dahil pumunta na po kayo dito. At pwede ko na din pong masabi sa mga kaklasik ko na may daddy ako. Ah, uh, nag-aaral ka na ba? Yes po, daddy. Kaya lang po, nabuboard po ako sa school namin eh. Uh, bakit naman? Anong grade ka na ba? Grade 3 po. Kasi po, alam ko na po yung mga tinuturo sa akin ni teacher. Oh, magaling ka siguro. Bakit? Ano bang favorite subject mo? Algebra po. Algebra? Bakit tinuturo na ba sa grade school ng algebra? Ah, uh, Jazz, break muna. Baka gustong magkape ni Kevin. Ah, uh, yes. Daddy, naantok na po ako. Pwede niyo po ba akong hatid sa room? Yeah. Tara. Can you not find that?
Ah. Anjali, how are you? Why did you come here, Kevin? I was surprised when I saw you last weekend. I just want to check on you and Jess. That's it. Ano talaga yung tahilan mo? Bakit ka nandito? It's been years and you never bothered to check on us. Bakit ngayon nandito ka? I never said goodbye the last time. So pumunta ka ngayon to say goodbye? Kevin, okay na ako eh. Okay na kami ni Jazz. Bakit kailangan ka pa naming makita? Gugulahin mo lang yung buhay namin eh. Of course, hindi yun ang intention ko. Alam mo ba kung gano'ng kahirap magpalaki ng anak mag-isa? Kung gaano kasakit maiwan sa ospital ng ganun-ganun lang? I'm sorry, Angeli. Kevin, ang tanga-tang ako eh. I'm trying to understand kung ano yung nangyayari, kung may nagawa ba akong mali, kung meron ba... Paano mo nasabi na hindi mo anak si Jazz? Kevin, sa mahabang panahon, I was hurting. Tingin mo ba hindi ko deserve na magkaroon ng proper goodbye, ha? I was hurt too. He never said anything about what happened. But... Naiwan ako, Kevin. Ako yung iniwan. And you expect me to feel sorry about you? Ne, minsan ba naisip mo kano yung mangyayari sa amin nung iniwan mo kami? Ha? I suffered in silence, Angeli. Kailan mo marirealize who actually suffered more? Kung sino talaga dito yung biktima, ha? Alam mo, gabi-gabi ako umiiyak. Iniisip ko kung ano yung ginawa ko, kung ano yung kasalanan ko. I almost lost it, Kevin. Bakit mo ako iniwan? Alam mo, gabi-gabi ako umaasa. Sana makita kita ulit. Umaasa ako na isang umaga, babalik ka sa akin. Pero lumipas yung umaga at kami, walang Kevin na bumalik. It was not my fault, Angeli. It was not my fault. Pagkatapos ng ilang taon, natanggap ko na rin, Kevin, na hindi na kita makikita na hindi ka nababalik. Pero ngayon, okay na ako eh. Okay na ako ngayon. Tanggap ko na. Bakit ka pa bumalik? I came only to say goodbye, Angel. Goodbye. Goodbye, Angel. Ito na yung huli natin pagkikit. Please say goodbye for just for me.
this time, please don't go. I have to go. I'm sorry. I have to go. I'm sorry. Seven.
Dr. Clark, seeing Angelie at our old house brought some memories back. I came to say goodbye, but something was holding me from leaving. Now, I am not sure how I feel for Angelie and Jazz. My situation with Georgia complicates things. I asked for Angelie to meet one last time so I could be certain of my decision. Okay, we're here. Ah, oh, Jazz, we don't know if begin with that, okay, Kevin? Say goodbye. Dito ka lang, amin na kami magandang. Ah, sige ka lang, ha?
Dear Kevin, This letter may come in nine years late. I know I was wrong of me not to tell you about what happened to me a month before our wedding. Let me say this. I love you. I love you from the very first glance. And I feel the same way for you until today. You left me at my most vulnerable moment. I endured all the hurt, all the pain for something that even I cannot fathom how it happened. Each day for the last nine years, I hope that you will go back to us. Each night, as I lay just to sleep, I would look at the window and wished to see you walking back. It pains me to see Jazz without a father. She grew fond of you and loved you like a real daddy. Her daddy is the picture of you on our wall. She adored you and longed to see you since she was a baby. She was so happy seeing you for the first time. I cannot explain how I felt seeing you with her. My worry is how to tell her that you may not be real. It will surely crush her. You are the only father that she knew. Anything to the contrary will break her heart. Are you really her father? No one is sure at this point. I would like to believe that you are. Did I betray your trust? I am sure that I did not. Not then, nor even up until today. You remain to be my only love, despite your living, despite the heartaches, despite all the hardships. I never thought of loving anyone else. I never said anything then because I was trying to bury that tragic incident. Know that I was not an infidel, but something happened to me. I almost ran away from our wedding because I love you so much, but the same love powered me to go through with the wedding. I know I don't want to be with anyone else but you. A month prior to our wedding, while waiting for a client, I ordered a cocktail drink, drunk from the glass which I did not know was mixed with a sedative. I got knocked out, and when I woke up, I was all alone in a hotel room. I was raped. I didn't know who raped me. I could not remember anything at all after the drinks. You can imagine the devastation in me. I can't tell anyone at all as I do not know what indeed happened. It was so painful and confusing. It was your love that made me survive the tragedy. I could not tell you, knowing it might hurt you even more. Jazz grew up a lot like you. She takes a lot of what she is from you. I could not be certain if she was yours, and that pains me a lot more. Forgive me for keeping this truth until now. I hope that someday you will find in your heart the love I so desperately need. Anjali
Okay na ako. Mami, look oh, si Daddy po. Hmm. Hmm. May surprise po siya para sa Meron inyo. Ba? Surprise? Opo. Meron? Opo. Daddy, sige Wala na po. Meron ba ako? Dali na, Daddy. Uh, <laughs> Salamat. Okay lang ba yung paaramdam mo? Oo. Okay na ako, sabi ng doktor. Ngayon lang, sinulit lang naman ako ni Jess kasi nag-bothered siya ba? 
Gusto mong magbisita na namin medyo maaga. Salamat. Sigurado ka? Okay na ako. Teka, sino gumawa nito? Ako si Jami. <laughs> Sumali? <laughs> Oo naman! Dr. Clark, Georgia walked away the moment she saw a family is fixed. Until now, I do not know if I were the biological father. Do I want to know for certain? I am still unsure. Does it really matter? I know now it's no longer important. This is a true testament that love always prevail. Thank you for reading my letter, Dr. Clark. Sincerely, Kevin.
Music connects us. Let us bring the melodies from your heart. The hymns of your soul. And the lyrics of your life closer to people. Creating unforgettable fan experiences. Connect with us and start your musical journey now. KDR Music House, where music finds its home. Craving for Salute's delicious food? We got you with our new combo meal. Now in a better packaging, bigger serving, and no price increase, Salute is absolutely affordable. Enjoy our five-star quality cuisine in a budget price for only 249 pesos. Not just four, but with eight combo meal variations to choose from. For more details and orders, please contact 0976-054-2567 Don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts Instagram at salute.manila Facebook at Salute Manila Centris Gmail at salute.restaurant.cafe at gmail.com Maghahanap Dito ng the best Chicken ba ang hanap mo Dito na tayo best Wala kang makikita Kasing sarap ang lasa Kaya let's go get ready na Baka maiwan ka Tara na, tara na Hagutin ang pamilya Sa 
sasarap baka malimutan the best song chicken said the best house of chicken Matatagpuan ang multi-awarded beach resort na ito sa Bataan. This place is not only known because of the important historical events, but also because of its natural wonders, such as majestic mountains and stunning beaches. This is a perfect getaway because it's just a few hours away from many busy cities such as Manila and Angela City. So we have been to the reception and now I'm so excited. But first, let us check out the luxurious hotel rooms. Come on! What a luxury accommodation! First class talaga ang dating ng hotel. Everything is provided for everyone's comfort and pleasure. Pagdating naman sa food, you can experience the best cuisines here at Morong. Most of the packages are with meals. Enjoy the delicious delicacies at the buffet, including soups, a selection of meats, vegetables, desserts, and beverages. The best features of Morong Star Beach Resort are scuba diving and snorkeling, where you explore the beautiful underwater world. Before we dive underwater and appreciate a diversity of beautiful fish, corals, and many more marine creatures, maga undergo muna tayo sa basic training for safety. Ito ang pool na 16 feet deep where we learn and become familiar with diving. If you want adrenaline pumping rides, try Banana Boat, which can go very fast. This is not for the faint of hearts. Kapag tumakbo na ang speedboat ng mabinis, for sure sigawan dahil sa sobrang fun at excitement. Isa din sa highlights ng resort ay ang island hopping. We get to experience seeing islands with white sands by riding on a short boat trip and enjoy scenic views. Enjoy the number one beach resort in Bataan for a day tour of as low as 500 pesos. For the weekend's rate, you can avail of 2,750 pesos per head. And for the weekday's rate, you can avail of 2,500 pesos per head. Morong Star is dubbed as the sunniest place in Bataan, and its shining beauty radiates even at night. The wooden tree house and the event area, especially when decorated, showcase their splendor in the serenity of the evening. After a hectic day, it's time to relax. Let us indulge in this moment with the beautiful serenity of the beach. And of course, the sunset here at Morong Star Beach Resort. 